this is shit. This is absolute shit. Hey guys, welcome to today's video. So today I am doing a little bit of a chit chat, get ready with me, giving you some thoughts on some products that I am really loving lately and a review on a product that I am really not loving and I honestly have a lot of regret around spending my money on it, but we will get to that later in the video. So if that's something that you're interested in, if you wanna see how I created this makeup look today, please keep on watching. We're getting right into it right now. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to my channel Channel and liking this video. All right, so let's get started with the makeup. I do have a few products here that I am looking to try today. Some of them I've tried before, some of them I haven't. So really excited to dive in, just do some makeup tonight, grab a glass of wine, and let's get started. Tonight I am going to be reviewing a few different products with you, some that I have talked about, some that I haven't, and I'm just gonna be doing a little get ready with me with some different products. Tonight I am using the Urban Decay Eye Primer. This is one of the greatest of all time primers. And I do like to just do all my priming in one step. I know it might be weird, but that's just kind of what I like to do. That's kind of what I'm about. And this is the e.l.f. Putty Primer, this is the mattifying one. And I just go in right here because my skin looks a little bit like an orange peel, honestly. I think it's just from having acne as a kid and I have super, super oily skin. So in these areas where you see me priming right now, up close, it does look a little bit like an orange peel. And I find that it can make, oh, what is that? Oh, this is disgusting, yeah. Is that? I don't know what did it, but I think it is the acne that I had as a kid, as well as having very, very oily prone skin. Your pores are just naturally bigger when you have oily skin, at least that's what I'm told. So I'm gonna take on my little palette. I'm gonna be using, this is again, like a true goat of a BB cream. This is the Dr. Jar BB cream. This is a beauty balm. I have been using this one for probably eight years. I'm just gonna take it like this and that's really all you need for your entire face like that is such a small amount this stuff is amazing and i think when i started using it i got it in maybe one of those subscription boxes a really long time ago i got a sample and i just fell in love with it i think it's absolutely gorgeous on the skin and you know when i started using it like eight years ago when i was like 22 uh, I knew nothing about skincare, nor did I really care. And now that I'm 30 and I have started diving into the skincare world, I can, I've actually looked at the label and this product has some pretty incredible skincare in it. And it's no wonder because this stuff really does amazing things for my skin. And it really just does amazing things for my makeup, which you may or may not actually be able to see on camera, but once it's all done, you'll see just how natural and perfect looking it makes my skin once you've kind of gone through all of the makeup. This stuff is so good. It's so good. It really gives me a good skin match or good tone match. And it really just smooths everything out, but lets my natural skin shine through, which is is kind of what I'm about lately. I am liking letting my freckles show through and looking a little bit more natural and making my skin just look like I don't have to sit down for an hour and put on makeup to make it look like this. And I will sometimes put a little bit extra just over my cheek right here. I am a little bit more pigmented in that area. I get a lot of, you know, redness there. Just natural blushing of my skin, which I don't want to completely cancel out, but I do just want to give a little extra coverage, so I'll put a little extra product there sometime. It basically comes down to whether or not I have extra product on my palette or not. So Dr. Jart, that stuff, by the way, I've only ever been able to find it at Sephora. They don't really sell it anywhere else, so in case you're wondering, but that is like the OG BB cream. It is amazing. It's so good. It's got a lot of, again, like really great skincare in it, and I just... I used it for years and I stopped using it for, you know, like a hot minute and that was a mistake, honestly. That stuff is so good. It's just great. So today I am using the e.l.f. Camel Concealer. This is shade Fair Rose. So this is for really white girls with pink undertones, which is me. And I'm just gonna use it to brighten up the center of my face as well as conceal a couple of spots of acne that 
have really started to clear up. I've started using salicylic acid almost every single night and doing like patchwork on my acne and it's really starting to help. Uh, I think I had just some hormonal acne over the last few weeks and I was just really I don't know, breaking out in the weirdest way. Changing my skincare routine to include salicylic acid more frequently has made a huge difference, but we're not quite there on this little guy yet. This does dry down really fast, so I do it in not all at once, or I don't apply it to my face all at once because I find if I do, it dries down too quickly for me to be able to blend it. And I am going to set the under eye with my Fit Me powder in shade 05. So a lot of these products are, I've already talked about on my channel. So I'm not gonna go into a ton of detail if I've already reviewed them. This powder is truly incredible. It is very pigmented. So if that's not your jam, just know that this powder, while it is amazing, it is extremely pigmented. But I like that for my under eye so that it really brings out that brightness. So I'm really liking how my how my base is looking right now. I'm gonna use my Cody Airspun to set my nose and my forehead. I don't set the whole face just yet. Number one, it's just like kind of not super necessary. Uh, and two, I like to use a cream contour. And so if I set or if I try to blend my cream contour over powder, it's just not gonna go very well. So I really only set the parts of my face that get super super oily, so that it does. It does help with oil control, but I don't want to set it so much that I end up with like a powder pudding on my nose, if you know what I mean. <laughs> because when it gets like sweaty and it is so hot here, it's Labor Day weekend in North Carolina. And honestly today it's like 80 degrees and it's uh, almost 8 p.m. It's definitely hot and we're ha in the middle of a heat wave. And so I'm really trying to use more cream than powder, but being an oily person and just being me, I like powder a lot and it's just what I'm used to. It's what I've used my entire life. And so I've gotten more into using creams and things like that, but, and I'm getting better working at them, but it's just not my natural. It's honestly just not what I reach for all the time. Uh, but now it is for contour. So I'm going to be using the Fenty Beauty Matchstick in shade Mocha. And I used this last night to contour and like way overdid it. Like, holy shit. Like I ended up saving the makeup, but man, I just used like way too much. And I got it like all down here. I had to do a ton of cleanup and I just looked so weird. But it was also the first time I had done my makeup in like literally a week because I got a sty last week which was like the worst experience ever this eye and it's there's still like a bump but it's internal and it's so small like I can't even feel it and I got a sty in my eye so I didn't do my makeup for an entire week and so I sat down to do my makeup last night and was like oh my like how do I even do this <laughs> like what is my process what do I use like I it was like I couldn't I didn't know what to do with my hands like I literally couldn't figure it out all right so I'm gonna use my Clarisonic to blend out my contour Okay, so we are all blended on that contour and I am going to do my usual trick with my Revolution contour palette and my e.l.f. contour brush and I'm just going to go in, pick up a little and swoop, swoop and that is the whole thing. It's super easy and fast and I can't recommend this brush for contour enough. And I've tried to use cream products as my nose contour, you know, like I've done it, but they end up like kind of getting a little like patchy and uneven and like it ends up being too heavy because doing a thing. I am just going to warm up the face with a little bronzer 
My face is already super warm from the contour, but I just feel like adding bronzer makes it look, I don't know, it looks less choppy between like the contour and the foundation and all that because I'm really just not someone that has a ton of color. Generally not someone that looks like I ever go outside. And so this butter bronzer really helps. So for blush, I am going to go into this Juvia's Place blush palette. This one is absolutely incredible. A lot of these shades, I just, I'm not sure when I'm going to use them, but I just really like that they exist. I really like that they're here. I am going to use shade Sola today. So this is a really pretty kind of shimmery. It's got some gold in it. It's really rosy. It's very pigmented. And so I'm going to try to go in and not overdo it. I'm going to just pick up a little and be super light. But look how pretty that is. That is a lot. That is a lot of blush. You really, whew, that may not be your color. This honestly may be a little dark for me, but I really like a good pink, like really pink kind of melty cheek. And I do like that it's shimmery. I know a lot of people really like more uh, matte blushes, but I am not that bitch. I want it shiny and sparkly and glowy. And this really does feel super glowy. It makes me look like I was at the beach all day and just have like a little too much sun on my cheeks, if you know what I mean. Okay, and so I am gonna try to clean this up and, and cut my cheeks a little bit. And I'm just gonna take my beauty blender and a little bit of the Cody Airspun powder. And I'm gonna bake my face. And really it's not even baking so much as I just want to cut my cheeks and add a little bit of dimension. You see like, it's got such a beautiful, look at this blush, it's got such a beautiful glowy kind of golden tint to it. And I mean, it really is like a little much, honestly. <laughs> like, I think I went in with like way too much blush here, but um, we're gonna make it work. We're gonna figure it out. <laughs> really, I like the color. I think I just picked up way too much on my brush. And even though I went on and on about like not doing that and being really careful, um, that's just the way the game is played sometimes, you know? Sometimes you have a little too much blush on, you know? At least it's nighttime and at least it's just us hanging out here. We're just gonna go with it. And you know, we're gonna try to take the learning with it. Where is my, oh right. We're just going to try and learn from our mistakes. Okay, so I am back and I just put on my eyebrows. I used my typical ColourPop pencil in shade Warm Blonde. And can we just talk about the absolute shortage of that shade uh, in their brow pencils? I had to go and buy the very last of their stock at Ulta, which was one. And then I ordered a ton off of the ColourPop website because I know how long they take to ship and I was really afraid that I was going to run out. And it's really the only pencil that truly works for my hair color and at a decent price point. It's $5 and I just feel really stupid spending anything more than that on an eyebrow pencil. Anyway, the brows are on and we've wiped away our bake. So I'm looking a little bit more angular in the face. And now I am ready to do my eye makeup. I'm not really sure how to like um, go about this, but kind of regretting my decision to purchase these products, but I did, I spent the money, I have them, they are in my hand and I'm gonna try them out for you today. You know, like let's, let's get real. Okay, I bought them. Like, um, I, I got, I bought them, I spent the money. I hesitate to even like say the names like you guys can see on screen what these are. I bought them and I kind of regret it honestly and I, I kind of regretted it immediately then and now that I have them in hand and I've seen them and I've swatched them I regret it even more like just full of regret and really trying to learn <laughs> from that mistake honestly. I'm gonna go in and I'm just gonna talk while I do my eyes. We've all seen it. This is the palette right? I mean, why, why, why do these two rows exist? Honestly, why? Like they're, they, they all are gonna basically not show up on my skin at all. Like now that they're here, honestly, they look the same. Um, this is the mini. We've all seen this. I don't feel like I'm showing you anything new and I don't want to like 
honestly give these a ton of screen time. You know, so I'm just gonna talk you through kind of my thought process on why I purchased them and kind of where I'm at now. I really like a redemption story and I really believe that people can change and they can learn from their mistakes and I, uh, I want to believe in people. I do. I'm that kind of person. I, I I like to see growth and I like to reward it too. And and that's, you know, that's that's a courtesy that I hope a lot of people would give to me as well. So, you know, seeing that I can grow from my mistakes and that I can learn and be better, that I'm that I'm here on this earth to improve and grow and learn. And I really like to see that in other people. And so I really like his, I'm not even, I'm not gonna say his name, but I really liked that person's story of growth. If we're all wondering who I'm talking about, I'm talking about this guy right here. I really liked his story of growth and his redemption and all of that. And then kind of everything happened online. And I, I honestly, I'm not gonna lie, I lost a lot of respect for him and the fact that it took him so long to address it or say anything and like it's not that complicated it's not that hard and it really shouldn't have taken him so long to like get his shit together honestly but again like i am someone that believes like if someone apologizes and they mean it and they're being honest like you should forgive them and maybe it's not my place to forgive him maybe i don't have anything to forgive him for i i'm you know, I, I don't want to go, I don't want to go there, but I, I wanted to believe. I wanted to believe him. I don't know. I think like I watched his initial apology video, the, this year's one, and I wanted to believe it was true. I, you know, I, I, I wanted to see that. And, you know, so I, I went ahead and I, I bought the palettes because I was like, oh, well, you know, I think he's probably learned and grown and people change and people make mistakes and that's okay too. People make mistakes and they can learn and they can grow from them. So I bought the palettes. I really felt like, you know, his neutrals palettes were going to be something really exciting and, you know, they were expensive, but you get a lot for your money and I really have enjoyed his products in the past. I have a lot of them and no, I'm not going to burn my palettes. I'm not going to throw them out. I purchased them. I own them like I'm not gonna get rid of something like that only affects me that only hurts me like I paid good money for it and I'm not like wealthy or anything so I'm not going to get rid of something that I've already spent my money on I watched his apology video I really just I wanted to believe that I don't know he meant it and since then honestly so back then I mean I really kind of I did believe him and uh maybe I'm a fool for that I'll own that like, where I have a lot of regret is I believe that where you spend your money is the most powerful thing that you, you can do, that you can have a hand in. And I do regret spending my money on these palettes because since then I've really, I don't know, I, I've kind of lost that feeling of like, or I've lost that belief that I had that he had changed and that he had learned. It definitely feels like he just did that in that timing and in that way so that he could launch this palette or these palettes and launch that collection within that you know time period. It was all strategy and I'm smart enough to know that and I did it anyway and I'm not proud of it I'm not but here we are I have the product and I mean so far I'm kind of not impressed <laughs> I don't know if you can see this but they're not the easiest to blend and just I don't know they're pigmented but I'm having a hard time with some of the shades here like this darker color this is invitation only and you can kind of see um it's not it's not cooperating incredibly well i don't know maybe it's just me because i'm trying to also like kind of rush through this the the big one isn't isn't that bad it's just as soon as i opened it up too i was just kind of disappointed i was like i don't know why i was a little bit more excited like i don't know why i saw you know the launch and and all that and was like oh cool like that'll be great and i thought maybe that'll be really great to use for work because i need to do more neutral looks for work and i really believed like hey like this is gonna be something that will be a staple in my collection i can use it for weddings and i can use it at work and i can use it for you know all sorts of things and i think i just kind of like played like a, a dangerous justification game <sighs> i bought it and it's here and it's fine honestly like i have other neutral palettes and i have other neutral colors that work just as well if not better and I just don't feel like you know I don't feel like this is that innovative honestly now that I have it in hand not worth the money 
not worth money and I spent that and I have to live with that I do so I'm going to go into the mini now and this was the one I was actually pretty excited for because like you know I love glitter and shine and sparkle however these swatch like some they're so inconsistent like so inconsistent you like can you see that I barely picked up any product there and I went in and like it's, I don't know if you can see it, but it is incredibly inconsistent. I'm gonna just go in with another. So this one, that one's actually pretty good. That's bathhouse and this is foam party. This is glass wet. Like it's, it, there's basically nothing there. These are really inconsistent and not good, honestly. And they're not original. They're not shade. Like there's nothing about these shades like that I don't already have. And like I said, that's just some regret that I'm going to have to live with. See, that's just, this is shade gagging. And I'm having to like, really go in these are pressed way too hard in my opinion and which this is super surprising because i have used many of his products um i think jawbreaker is absolutely one of the best palettes for color in terms of blendability and color payoff i think it's just like the bomb.com that palette is so good and i really i think we all expect more like say what you want about him and say what you want about his products but they're not bad products they're good quality products and but but not that this is shit this is absolute shit so i'm gonna go in with my finger here so that helped but i really i've used enough of his shades and enough of his products to know girl can do better so i'm gonna go in to imitation only you know the, these mats so far i've used quite a few on my eyelid. They're fine. There's nothing crazy about them. There's nothing special. Other than, I, I do think, what I will say, to give like a little bit more of a balanced review, it, or I don't know, I don't think I owe him a balanced review, honestly. This would probably be really good for traveling, uh, like since it's so big and you can create so many looks with it. But in reality, can you create so many looks? It feels like you could create the same look like with 18 different combinations of these colors since they're all so similar. So I would say, I honestly, if I continue to use this palette, which I probably, I'll use it and I'm just not gonna talk about it on my channel ever again. If I continue to use it, it's like, this is basically the only look. This is it. This is the look. This is the one. Because a lot of these shades aren't even gonna work for me. And if I'm doing a neutral eye with like all browns, this is all, this is what I'm doing. Like, this is the look. I don't get that creative when it comes to browns. I guess, or neutrals. I don't hate the way that this is turning out. I think it actually, it looks nice. It looks pretty. It looks extremely boring. Like this is a very boring look, a very boring palette. And this is total bullshit. This sucks. I have so much regret. Okay, here's a really cool, like this looks super cool, right? It looks completely different when you swatch it. That looks like muddy and disgusting and not this like really pretty red color. I'm most disappointed by this color, honestly. That's shade Frozen Fire and it ends up looking like orangey shit, like orangey chunky bullshit on my hand. I am not impressed. I'm gonna go into Glass Wet for my inner corner. See, it's like pressed so hard. I'm not picking up anything. I'm gonna put this on the inner corner and can you tell? Did that brighten at all? <laughs> literally do anything? And look at this, like, it, I don't know if you can tell, but it's like chunky in there. There's like lumps and it's pressed so hard, so hard. And it's like lumpy and chunky. I have never seen eyeshadow look like that before. I mean, not that I'm an expert or anything, but I have used quite a bit of makeup. See, I'm really having to like build this to get any payoff. And it's still not nearly as bright as I like to go. But a lot of these, they're like super, super chunky and bumpy and lumpy and like, they're coming out super weird. I'm gonna add some glitter to this just to make this less boring. I'm gonna pick up my ColourPop Baby Got Peach palette, which I used yesterday and I love this. Speaking of amazing, speaking of products that don't suck and are amazing, um, this one is a real one. I love it so much. So I'm gonna go into Hungry Ghost right here. It's a pressed glitter. Just, oh my God, I picked up way too much. Ah! That was way too much. Yeah. Gently, gently. 
Oh my God. Yes, but look at that glitter. Holy shit. Oh yeah, girl. Um, okay, so that's way more glitter than I intended. That's way more. But we are where we are. This makeup is not turning out at all the way that I wanted it to, but we're gonna roll with it. Oh my God, I got so much under my eye. What in the world were you thinking, Katie? Ugh! We're just gonna roll with it. We're just gonna have glitter under our eyes. We fixed it. Ooh. For eyeliner, I'm going to line my lower waterline with white like I normally do. To really brighten up my eyes. I gotta tell you, it really hurt my feelings when Robert Walsh, Welsh, excuse me, said that he hates this technique. He's probably right. Honestly, I should be using a more like of a, a skin tone color, but I don't have one. I haven't bought one yet. So we're just gonna use the white and I don't think it looks that terrible. Oh, well. this is with the KVD Vegan Beauty Tattoo Liner. The absolute best, the absolute best liquid liner on the market. And I do not bring that liner all the way in because my eyes are hooded. I wanna leave them open and pull them out. And since I have hooded eyes, I have to go through a different technique to put it on to make sure that it doesn't close my eyes. You know what I mean? So that doesn't make my eyes look heavy. For highlight today, I'm going to be using my Ofra Nikki Tutorials Highlighting Trio Palette, if I can get it open. Today, I'm gonna to be using these two colors. And I recently got the, um, the Jaclyn Hill highlighting brushes were 50% off. And so I just went and I bought all all three are pretty good. I mean, they're brushes, but they're fun. They're beautiful. And hopefully this highlight makes this blush look a little bit more normal, a little, a little more the glowy and hoey look that I'm going for. Oh yes. I do like to use two different highlighters. One that's a little bit brighter on the apples of my cheeks. I think it's like way too extra, but that's just who I am. This makeup is a lot. It is a whole, it's a whole thing. Oh, she is shiny. And for mascara, I'm gonna do Lash Freak Urban Decay. And I do my mascara at the very end after I've set my face so that I don't have to worry about it getting everywhere when I spray it. And honestly, I don't know why more people don't do this. Maybe they do. I feel like I see people putting on their lashes and doing their mascara before setting their faces and then they complain about it smudging their makeup. And I'm like, that just, do it after you don't need to use a setting spray on your on your mascara oh, i just love this mascara it is the bomb.com it is so good i just picked this up at target this is the superstay ink crayon from maybelline in shade lead the way 15. it said it was new at target so i don't know if that means that it's just like new period or what but i figured i would pick it up and i would try it oh it's so nice It's really glidey, easy to apply, and this is like my exact lip color, but just better, which is usually the look I'm going for. It smells nice, but it's very faint. And this is supposed to last for eight hours, so we'll see. On camera, it's showing up. It looks almost like brown, but in person, it looks really rosy and kind of natural, like definitely something I could wear to work. When it comes to the formula, it's super comfortable. It's a little, not drying, but you can definitely feel that it's going to stick around. It's gonna be there. Some of that staying power feel you know, when you use like a liquid lipstick or something and it just kind of feels like, all right, it's in there. That's what this feels like. And I'm going to go over it with my Fenty Beauty lip gloss uh, or gloss balm in shade Sweet Mouth just to juice it up. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Mm -mm -mm. I am really liking how this look turned out. It definitely was a journey and it wasn't what I thought it was going to be, but I'm liking how it turned out. You know, I'm feeling pretty and sparkly and glowy and just kind of a more natural glam look. So I hope you really enjoyed this get ready with me ease kind of pseudo review. Um, I just wanted to sit down and put on some makeup. I'm gonna go grab a beer with a couple of friends of mine and just wanted to feel less like the house troll when I went out with them. I had a lot of fun today and I hope that my message got across and some of the things that I was thinking of, about those palettes and I hope that you understand where my heart is and where I'm coming from on that. And I think that we're all kind of curious what the product was actually like. So I hope that that was useful. If you are thinking about spending 
the money, just don't. Even like social stuff aside, whatever your feelings are about him, the product is not good. Like it's not worth it. That is my video today. Thank you guys so much for sticking around. I really appreciate it. If you liked this video, please leave a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts, if you've tried any of these products, and if you'd like to see more Get Ready With Me's like this, just like a quick video with a review, just doing my makeup, kind of chatting through some of my thoughts. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing. It would mean so, so, so much to me. Anyway, that's it for today. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, and I will see you next time. Bye!